Or in Floppe. Floppe is a name that I am somewhat familiar with. But because... Oh, okay, so Ike is Floppe. Okay, got it, got it. Ooh, the down smash? Okay. One way to start things off. Up to you, gonna get him back on the stage. Even up the percentage, 32% up see air. See that up air from Ike? How it like Cheap. barely like touched the hair on Incineroar's chest and they hit him? Okay, good Nair. Nair to Nair. Nair in the Nair. Mm -hmm. What a surprise. Okay, okay. Yeah, I would have gone for a grab too, but uh, that did whiff. I really want to see how well Flop is going to be able to zone out this Incineroar. He could, Incineroar could easily be combo food against this matchup. Absolutely. If War is able to find a way in, if he's able to use the revenge properly, he can do 40-50% damage a shot oh based boy. on how well he's able to counter. Okay. okay, yeah, shielding that. Shielding that quick draw. We don't do that here. Okay, down tilt didn't connect into anything, but we still got a down tilt, but now we're getting uh, juggled again. Nice back air, 115% even. Dead even game, but ooh, Ike's up air. It's a killer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so strong. Okay, yeah, still trying to hit him into the invulnerability. He already has. Okay, no grab. Okay, we just turn around. We just turn around and tilt here. Oh ooh. no, he went from one part of the map to the other. Like King K. Rule, the down smash on Incineroar is pretty much an iframe if you try to go for a low attack to avoid that. And come down with some serious knockback potential. Ooh. Evens up the stocks in a nice lariat, 84% in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Ike is eating big. Oh, yeah, that quick draw is uh, he's starting to use it quite a bit here. Okay, good Nair. Okay. Ooh, Nair. Oh. Ooh, that Nair was not spaced out properly. Okay. With the belly to the back, up B into the revenge. Oops. Again? The That's remix. Two. That's three. That's this four. Isn't You're just letting it happen. You you just let him stack up. He has no choice. I mean, him. he has to. I don't think he had his jump. I think his only option was to up B. So all those stacks amounted into a nair. Good, good stuff. Some good stuff. I definitely think War is going to be able to exploit that, and, and Floppy's like, oh, I didn't really That's consider kill. this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One That's of the strongest back throws in the game. Oh, yeah. You said it. Good Nair. I like that. He's doing a lot to disrupt Ike's game plan. He's doing a lot better than I theorized. I thought Ike would be able to zone him out incredibly well. Ike, but he's finding a way in. Ike on paper should... Yeah, that was very good. That was very good. Ike on paper should be able, and does, uh, outspace Incineroar really well. I think uh, I'm not seeing a lot of grabs from uh, Floppy. <laughs> Ooh, those up tilts were looking pretty pretty neat, but then he... Uh, you know what happened. The guy was running from Effectively a combo breaker. 93% on the last stocks, but Ike is two or three shots away from evening that up. Just missed the up tilt, looking for the up air afterwards. Looks like mechanical precision. He's, he's, he's used to that combo up tilt up air. Nice grab. Mm -hmm. Sends him off stage. Are we going to see some revenge now? That was, that was a good quick draw. That was a good quick draw. Okay. He's facing the back air there. Okay, that was a good back air mm -hmm. from the Nair. Finding value off of those platforms, you can really chain together some aerials. Floppy there, has up air, forward air, like on that. Oh, yeah. it again. Floppy has to be very careful with those nairs the way they swing them out. This is what can happen when you're lax at all in space against Ike on a platform. Nair, forward air. Oh, he's still living. We are still alive. That boy thick, he's going to be able to hang on for the moment. Rolls onto the stage, gets the shield. This is this going to be enough? That oh. kill. The raids put in the work there, too. War might have just gotten away with one there because the momentum was certainly in Flappy's favor that I play. Oh, yeah. Still got to say, though, if I were to make any uh, intense uh, critiques, uh, those nares have to be spaced properly because if you do that too deep into the shield, you're going to get roared. You're going to get roared on. <laughs> I don't want to get roared on to you. No. I've thought about it. I've weighed all the options. I would pass. I mean, you thought about it. Yeah. And that's, I mean, you're a very open-minded individual yeah. for doing that. In life, I think everyone should be. They should be. Yeah. But if you play Incineroar, odds are you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> odds are you would opt out of getting tagged with Nair. No. Fire Incineroar, I would just, like, tackle and 
grapple every single person that I saw. And that's what he's supposed to do. I want to see how Floppy makes adjustments going in a second game, though. We saw a ton of value had out of the revenge. It can disrupt combos. Ike is so used to getting two, three, sometimes even four aerials back to back. It's going to be very easy for War to just hit a revenge to counter that out and then get a burst of damage with the command grab. So oh, like yeah. That. There it is. Here we go. This is a scary point in time. Oh, oh. the mind game. Flop is look. He's like, I can't be here all night. He's gonna stay and do this. I'll just let the stock. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. He's good there. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You, you know he wanted that. He's looking for a battlefield. This is definitely going to be a problem for him. Similar. He might want to more commit to being on the ground level because of 70, 80 percent. If Ike is able to get that step ladder going, he's losing the stock. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I think I, that time. I think I see Floppy trying to get like the very threshold of up B so he doesn't touch the revenge, but that that is just not pretty in this matchup. Okay, there we go. There we go. And the revenge was there waiting for him. And Floppy hit that a, a bit early. There just misses. Triple in there, and there's the revenge. That's how you stop that combo, but still 52% damage racked up off. I, I, I'm seeing too many Nair to Nair conversions. Not on, okay, that actually worked out, that quick draw. But uh, no Nair to like forward air, no Nair. I, I didn't see Nair to, to down air. It's crazy. I just think he's committed to just racking up as much damage as possible. He feels keeping Incineroar in close is going to be how he does that. Forward throw, not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. Went off stage. I think he was trying to go for a Larian there. Mm -hmm. Quick draw got, got the Okay. No grabs. No grabs from Floppy. Ooh, mistletoe drop kick. Two year temple. Mm. Second stop. Yeah, yeah. Floppy has to be very careful about the way that he approaches. He's, he is making it very shown that I'm going to nair you, I'm going to nair you, but I'm not going to grab you. He's got to be very careful with that because uh, Incineroar, or War, is going to be. I think he's already cognizant about how uh, Floppy is playing right now. Okay. Dash attack in, forward air sends him off stage, has the double jump, needs to be up B. Floppy got a little back on the stage for free, and I thought he might try to edge guard that, but why bother? Oh, yeah. When you just up air someone to death. Mm -hmm. Okay, that uh, that grab was an honest attempt. Okay, good revenge. Okay, not so sure about the command grab, though, before. I really like that Floppy spaced that attack out, got around the revenge. We saw War get a lot of value out of that over the course of game one and parts of this game. Having the presence of mind to say, like, I'm waiting for the down. So I get another free hit on you. That is exactly why War is at 97% right now. And potentially getting sent off with nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a, that was a good landing. Kind of scary. Oh. Okay. Just playing the aerial game now. Okay. Oh, but it looks like uh, War is beat out. I'm thinking to not air dodge. I, I thought War was going to be uh, cooked right there. That was some good DI from Floppy. He almost got a down throw combo. Oh, the pivot grab not working out. Read the roll, just missed the grab. And ooh! Yeah. It's not a sword, man. It's a club with a hilt. <laughs> it basically is. It's a, it's a, it's a bladed club <laughs> with a hilt. <laughs> yeah, Ragnell's no joke. Shouts out to... Uh, Oh, what's her name? What's the? Have you ever played um the the Fire Emblem game with the uh, Ike in it, Radiant Dawn? I have not played any of the Fire Emblem games, my friend. Oh, you are missing out, my friend. Yes, you are. Yes, very fun stuff. Mm -mm. Forget the the princess though. Forget the princess in that game. I'm sure someone in Twitch can. Three, two, one, go. Game number three. I really like seeing game threes in points. What that says to me is we're getting some really even competition. Players are sharpening their skills. Southern California jumping up. We know how to seed here. Nice counter. 18 oh, 26. That nair looked like it was actually going to connect, but those did. Very good stuff. Okay. Ooh, and that nair looked like it was going to connect, but it didn't. Ooh, nice spot dodge in the nair. War is definitely starting to get a rhythm for dealing with this Ike. But it's so easy to get a value off this nair in the fair and off air combination. Anytime instant arose near this platform, it could be eating two, three, or four minutes. Oh, yeah. Platforms are not good when you have an Ike around. Okay. Not uh, capitalizing on the held shield by uh, from War. Keep the pressure on, and then there's the Lariat. That's what he was looking for last time. It does connect. Not going to be enough for the takedown. He's getting back in with the grab and the headbutt. Oh, yeah. Not able to get this first step. Lots of damage. Oh, oh. that Nair. <laughs> oh, the good, good revenge. Good revenge. Saving his own life there. Side B. Has a double jump. Gets back on the stage, and ooh, oh, yeah. off the top rope. You know what it is. Dropped. 
Got him. Okay. Good. I like I, I like the air dodge, but he could have done it before the side B. Did he already use his double jump? I'm assuming he did. He, he may have, but we're getting up aired all day. <laughs> we just went from zero to thirty-eight with Cinero up airs. Is this Cinero or a Smash Four Mario? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, they're both red. You know? Good point. I mean, yeah, it's the same thing, right? They're both red. Okay. Ooh, backer not really working out. Still very much an even game. Nice shot there. Mm -hmm. Return response from Flopper. There's the shield up. Baits out the side B. Able to jump around that. Has stage control for the moment. But these forward airs from War are really hitting. Me. Oh yeah, no we got edge. we got that stage control from War. We had it anyway. In the air now we have it again. Oh Ooh. yeah. Yeah, Floppy's got to be careful about how he recovers. On you. Got to add a bit of variance to how he gets back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. The closer Floppy can get to these platforms, the better his combination potential is going to be. <laughs> these lariats are so confident. I love it. Oh, okay. That was the first time we saw that come from Floppy. The lariat's a really strong move. I don't think it's used enough by Incineroar players. It has a solid amount of priority. The activation frames last a little while. It's just a, a stopgap. It can definitely contest a lot of different attacks, aerial, special, and otherwise. This is working out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, is this oh, it? That camera. Not quite. Not quite. <gasps> You're kidding me! You just got that! Okay. Oh. Oh. That was so sweet.